Uh, thank you, uh, Representative Clemens, for taking the time to answer a few questions about uh, House Bill uh, 3003, the uh, voter ID uh, bill. Uh, my first question I have for you are, what are the main facets of this bill? Okay, the, this, this bill, House Bill 3003, dealing strictly with voter identification would require that uh, any individual uh, in South Carolina who goes to vote must present a photo, photo ID such as approved by the state legislature in order to cast a vote. Those, those IDs can be, according to the bill, a South Carolina issued driver's license, a South Carolina issued official ID card, a passport, a federal ID card, certain IDs that we have confidence and faith are, are diligently prepared to, uh, to coincide with your, uh, your personal data so that we can be assured that no fraud is being committed in the system. It's all about securing, securing the vote, having more confidence in the vote, and that the, the votes that are being cast are being cast by the people that they are purporting themselves to be. All right. And how does this compare to other states' voter ID laws? It can, compares very closely to the voter ID laws that have been, have been approved by the Supreme Court in Georgia and Indiana. We have brought those two states together, the, law, the voter ID laws of those two states, and have patterned the South Carolina bill so as to reflect the, the Supreme Court approval given in those states. All right. And how, is, how will this bill affect the voters in the next election? Assuming we are successful and we get this bill passed in the House today and passed in the, House after, in the Senate after today, and that the governor signs it into law, then the next election, which I suspect will be the next, of course, big election, will be in November of 2012, then, then voters will be uh, coming to the polls, will need to bring their photo ID with them, uh, a driver's license. Many people vote with their driver's license today. You either need your driver's license or your voter registration card, which carries no photograph. So most people, in my experience, are if they drive, they're taking their driver's license with them and showing their driver's license. So for those that do that, that would not be a change. If you're used to vote and presenting your voter registration card, you need to make arrangements to have one of the types of allowed photo IDs. All right. And uh, why should constituents uh, support this bill? Because by constituents supporting voter ID, they are giving more credence and credibility to the voting system in South Carolina. They're, they are allowing the system to be more secure. Uh, I, I talked to my solicitor in Horry County just yesterday, Greg Hembry, and I've talked to solicitors from across the state, and I asked them this question, is there voter fraud in South Carolina? Every one of them I've talked to has said, without a doubt, yes, there is voter fraud in South Carolina. So, well, how many prosecutions have there been? Very few. Why? The answer that comes back to me is, we don't have the tools to prosecute voter fraud. With this bill and with voters presenting an ID, for those that want to commit fraud, they're going to be chilled out of the system. And if they try to bypass the system, they will be caught and prosecuted. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you.